have a very special guest that's going to be joining us via Skype. His name is Mike Hippel, and he is a young man, I mentioned this uh, before the break, that he does not have an autism spectrum disorder, but he communicates through assisted technology. So Mike is going to be joining us. His mom, Sue Hippel, is with him as well. And we want to start out uh, by asking, Sue, is do we have your permission? Uh, because Mike is not yet 18, do we have your permission to be talking to you and Mike on camera? Yes, you do. We're very happy to be with you today. Well, thank you so much for being here. Mike it has been a regular viewer of our show, and we have been able to interact with him. He sends us questions from time to time and comments that are really important. And I know it was really important to Mike. He wanted to share with us some information because being someone who ha uses this assisted technology, uh, he wanted to share with us some things uh, that might help us in communicating with our children, especially when they use assistive technology. And Mike has a prepared speech that his that he has typed into his technology, and he's going to read it for us right now. So go ahead, Mike. Good morning or good afternoon. First off, I have this in a notebook on my Echo 2, so please wait to ask any questions until I am all done. Echo is my communication device, talk made by PRC. I want to tell you now quickly about myself. My name is Mike Kippel. I don't have autism myself, but I have CP, so I can understand how hard it is working with the IEP team. My team is awesome, awesome. They will do anything to help me. My two greatest IEP coordinators and my two greatest aides in my education are Mrs. Kramer and Mrs. B through kindergarten to sixth grade. Mrs. H started with me in seventh grade. Tanawa and Mrs. Larson started working with me in ninth grade as my math teacher, and she started as my IEP coordinator in tenth grade. All four people are my dear friends to me and my family members. Now, I would like to talk about how communication devices our friend. I was not a good boy when I was younger, but when I got my first PRC communication device, my behaviors stopped little by little, but I still do dumb things, like everyone else in the world. My life changed for the better when I got a way to tell my parents, my teachers, and my aide what I was feeling for the first time. I didn't need to act out to get what I wanted. I feel a communication device is the key for people who can't speak. That is why I am mentoring younger AAC users. With the internet, I can be a mentor to a child who is living anywhere. Do you have any questions for me? Well, first of all, Mike, I just want to say, again, how much we've enjoyed conversing with you on Autism Live, how much you've added, and I, and I love your passion for this subject and that you want to be helpful. You are a remarkable young man, and, you know, when you say, I was not a very good boy, I just want to scream and say, I know that not to be true, and I love how you said afterwards that it, how difficult and how frustrating it was, um, but that these devices help you to communicate and you you are a remarkable young man um, I will we'll need to be able to tell people how you can be a mentor but I I know it takes a while for you to be able to converse back with us uh, on the device but uh, I I I really want to just say to you um, how proud I am of you and I I'm guessing that your mother is a little proud of you as well <laughs> We're very proud of him. Um, Mike mentors three kids right here in our school district who use devices. And I just wish he would have had something like that when he was little. I think we would have turned, turned him around a little quicker. Well, and, and also, Mom, you were saying before the break that uh, we know that Mike watches the show because we get to talk with him from time to time. Um, and, and we were having a little conversation about the fact that ABA and the principles of ABA are, are really uh, effective for everyone. And you were saying that, that this that the information that you see us providing uh, is for more than just autism. I don't want to put words in your mouth, but uh, is uh, so you guys feel like this might have helped you if you would if, if you'd been able to watch the show earlier yeah exactly um, a, a lot of um, what you say really resonates to children with any disability especially your IEP suggestions um, okay. and I think it would have been 
helpful for me to hear something like that earlier in Mike's um, education career. We're pretty lucky, you know, we've had a, um, an awesome team working with him. We've had people that have been with him since he's been in kindergarten. I don't know if that's common or if that's pretty rare. The assistive technology person, Jen, is awesome and she's been with us since kindergarten. And just the information that you provide is a real public service no matter what disability your child wow. has. Thank you. So, Mike, I do have a couple of questions for you. Do you still have regular IEPs? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And so do you attend your IEPs or does your mom attend for you? Is it you that goes? We, we, I go with him, uh -huh. but Mike's been attending his own IEP since he's been in fifth grade. And so this question is for both of you then. Does... Do they give him a forum in the IEPs to be able to speak and say what he agrees to and what he doesn't agree to? Yeah, actually, the IEP starts out with Mike introducing new members to the existing team. And he, Mike, you probably picked this up already. He's got a pretty good sense of humor. Yes. So he actually gets a jab in there on something <laughs> especially close to. Makes everybody laugh. Wow. And so... Mike, are you a senior this year or are you? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And do you guys have a plan for what you're going to do next year, Mike? Are, are you looking towards college or what are you looking towards? We know we have an opportunity to go to school yes. until he's 21, but that's never been Mike's goal. We kind of want to move on to the next chapter next year. Okay. Um, we've been doing some community service, volunteer work, community education. Last and hope to get him involved in a class or two at a community college. Well, he's pretty awesome at computer. I mean, we see that, that he, that, you know, uh, I'm wondering, uh, we're always looking for interns for social marketing. I don't know if that's something that might interest you, Mike. <laughs> Yeah, you piqued his interest. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe that's something that we could talk about a little bit afterwards because uh, we, could, we could use some social marketing uh, interns. And clearly, Mike, you're very good at the computer. Yeah, and just for your audience to know how Mike accesses his device, his head array moves a cursor around. Uh -huh. and, Which was the last one for me. Yeah, we have our last IEP in January. Okay. Um, so it the cursor goes up, down, right, left, and then select. Um, and usually when we go to conferences, it's kind of a unique way to access the system, and it's worked real swell for my... So is it like a joystick? What does he... Explain to me, Sue. The, the head array, the mm -hmm. different spots on the head array, oh, and moves okay. the cursor around on his computer um, and then he selects the um, different letters to spell out words or he has the MinSpeak PRC communication system so it's like picture symbols that mean um, a phrase. Wow. wow. Well, well Mike, Mike, you're incredible. Yeah. Absolutely incredible. And I'm, I'm so thrilled that we've had an opportunity to have you here on the show and I'd like to have you on the show again. Yeah. And, and I want to talk to you about maybe, you know, maybe, maybe you might be interested in an internship, but, you know, no pressure. <laughs> uh, but I thank, I thank you, Mike, for being with us. And Sue, I thank you for being with us. And if we have questions that parents have about using assisted technology, can we forward some of them to the two of you? Yeah. We'd be happy to. Okay. Mike, thank you so much. And thank you, Sue, for being here as well. And uh, we'll stay in touch. How's that? Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye.